Hey guys, I'm going to show you how I made glass break when hit by bullets in my game in Blender. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Okay, and if we take a look at one of these pieces of glass, what we have is a collision sensor to sense the property of bullet, which so when it's hit by a bullet, and a property equal to broken. And that's so that once it breaks, it doesn't break again, and I'll show you that. And so it takes both of these things to make these things happen. An action, which is um, a keyframe action that there are from shape keys, and a sound, that's the sound of the glass. And on the sound, we use 3D sound, so that the further you are away from it when it breaks, the lower the sound. It works great. It's really awesome. And then we have something here that changes the property to true. The property is over here is broken. So broken starts out as false. That means it's not broken. And so over here at the beginning, if if the collision with the bullet and the glass is not broken, boolean of false, then it will do all of these things. Once that's changed to true, that means the glass is broken and this will no longer work so that it doesn't do it over and over again. Okay? So that's basically all, all there is of, um, to that. Um, so let's go outside and uh, let's find a spot out here on the ground and snap my player. Shift S, selection to cursor, and get my player out there where we've got some room to work. And snap to player. Hit Shift F turn them around and we'll just do it right about there okay put my cursor right there and go ahead and add a plane okay let's scale it up rotate it on the X 90 degrees and move it up okay give it a material okay it's just Quick material, we'll make it, uh, it's going to be glass, so we want some specular up on it, and, and uh, go ahead and down here at the bottom, hit transparency, and we want alpha to be halfway, so it's transparent, but not completely, so something like that, all right, so now when I hit play, we've got a piece of glass we can see through, nothing happens when we hit it, okay, of course not, so, the next thing we want to do is we want to um, break that glass up into shards. So we got to tab into edit mode and hit W, subdivide, and I'm going to go with three cuts. <clears throat> okay, and so now I'm going to I'm going to jump into uh, vertex mode. And we're going to move these around because glass does not break in straight lines. So. We only want to move them on, on the two planes that don't make it bumpy, because glass only goes, we want it to stay flat. So we can't do anything with the Y, so we just move these around. Until they look like shards. Something about this is you don't want to do this. Uh, you, want, you don't want to go past a straight line right here, because if you do, even a straight line is too much. If you go there, you see how it's... It, it'll give creases to your glass. You do not want that at all. Now, um, we're going to use shape keys, so it's important that you don't... Once you've, once you've done this, you, you're, you're pretty much locked into this. You're not going to subdivide this again. Uh, once you've done this, there's a couple of reasons for that, and uh, you'll see why. Okay, so we basically got some shards of glass here. You know, it's not all that great. You can spend a lot of time on this if you want. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to tab back into edit mode. Oh, wait, wait, we didn't, we didn't do it all. Go into face mode again. Okay, select all. And then over here on the left, on tools, under transform, hit extrude individual. Okay, and what that does is it is it brings out the individual faces as separate pieces. Behind it, the only thing that's connecting them together now is this geometry, and it's actually connected back at the back face where the original faces were. So we have those all selected. We hit Select, Inverse, 
and hit X to delete faces. What that did is now they are no longer connected together. Now I can bring them out as individual pieces. Uh, before they were connected together and if you moved it out it would bring the mesh with it. So back to there. That's how you, that works with cubes, that works with anything. Anything you want to make it break you're going to have to do that to it. Okay. So now we'll go back into edit mode, I mean object mode tab and go over to the three vertex symbol here and hit shape keys. Hit plus and add a shape key. Now at first it adds a basis, that's the basic shape before you started. So add a second one plus. So now we have a, a, a key that we can um, we can change. They only work in edit mode. They, this only change if you move something in object mode it moves the entire object. So so you have to be in edit mode. So tab into edit mode. Okay and then I'll grab one of these faces and move it out and show you what it does. Okay so now I go back into object mode and you can see when I move this key it, what I, the change that I made makes the change. So back to edit mode and I'm going to rotate that because well when glass breaks it rotates, right? So I'm going to bring all of these pieces out and give them some rotation. And when you hit rotation, you see when you're real close it makes them rotate a lot. Yeah, that's not out of control, but sometimes they do get out of control. But if you uh, move further away and hit R, it gives you fine control over your um, positioning. This is true with scaling. This is true with everything. Just in case you didn't know that. Okay, so you can make this as good as you want. In fact, this isn't going to be as good as, you know, uh, as mine. See, I'm too close. And um, maybe the frame kind of held these, these pieces in on the edges a little bit. So, um, so maybe you want to, maybe they don't move out quite, quite as much. Um, you know, just this is the creative part, and uh, I'll make make this one come out a little bit. Anyway, you know what to do. Okay, now well, that's the startings of a shatter. We're going to have two keyframes, so this one's. This one's going to be just the initial break, okay? And so now when we go into tab into object mode, and the glass does an initial shattering, all right? Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to be, we're at the beginning of our time frame, which I've got minus one, that's no good. Let's go to zero. Okay. And hover over this value on, on key one. I'm going to hover over that value and I'm going to set that as a keyframe. Okay, so now its value is zero, just like this. I'm going to go up to about, oh, eight, or yeah, that's good enough, nine. Okay, and then I'm going to make this value all the way up. It doesn't take long, for, that's about a tenth of a second, and, and uh, it doesn't take long for glass to go that far when it's breaking. So, And then I hover over that value again and hit I again. Okay, so now when we um, when we play that that part, the glass breaks. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another keyframe, I mean another shape key. Okay, and on this one, I'm going to go ahead and um, and set its keyframe at zero. I. Right. And then I'm going to move out to uh, 20 on this one. This is going to be the second part of the animation. So, and on this, uh, you have to you have to be in edit, you have to be in edit mode. And this is where I keep making mistakes on this. So I want it to move out a little bit. I want it all. Select all. Okay. And I want it to move out somewhat and rotate and come down. You see the the, the um, and then. Okay, now I want to grab these pieces and go ahead and throw some rotation on them so that they don't look, so it doesn't look stupid. <laughs> and of course, this is stuff that you want to spend time on. This one won't look as good as uh, my other ones look, looked all right, but oh, this will look all right. It, 
this really isn't that hard. I um, I couldn't find any tutorials on it though, so I um, so I'm making this one. Yeah. I was messing around with the explode modifier and I just could not get it to work. And um, in the game, I don't know if it even works in the game. Anyhow, so now that we have it like that and we're out here at frame 20, I'm going to go ahead and put a keyframe on that, hover over that value, and hit I. Oops, that didn't take. Um, oh, I got to bring it up. I'm sorry. Oops. Bring it all the way up. And let me see, V in object mode. No, I. Okay, so now in object mode, that should um, that should animate. Yeah. Okay. So now it's it's gonna um, it's it's gonna play just like that. Okay. Okay. So now we got our animation done, and so now what we have to do is we have to set up the the sensors and everything. So um, we're, we've got our window selected in object mode and I'm going to add a sensor and it's going to be collision. And the property is going to be bullet and I'll show you why. Okay, That is because the bullet that my gun shoots has a property of bullet on it. And if I'm going to, I'll leave a link in the description to how I made my gun. It's somebody else's uh, tutorial. It's a tutorial I used to make my gun and make this bullet. So if you if you don't have a gun, the, the link will be there. Um, so when I look on bullet, it has no controllers, no actuators, no nothing. All it has is one thing: this this property of bullet. So what I'm telling the glass to do is when it gets a collision with something with the property of bullet on it, which is the only thing in the game is the bullet, then We'll add an actuator, and it'll be an action actuator, and it will be, um, it will be loop end, I believe, and then not continue, and it'll be f frame starts from zero to twenty, and I think that's it. Oh yeah, okay, and it's going to be. See, I have a lot of these key actions in here. It's going to be the last one because this is the. The, the latest thing that I did. So see all those key actions? Those are all my other other windows in the game. Okay, a key action. And so what it's going to do is, is when it gets a collision with the bullet, it's going to play that, that animation that we made. So I'll jump back to my player, and I'll hit play. And there we go, glass breaks. Okay, so something else that we want to do, and I will leave a link to the free sound place. If you want to add a sound, uh, there's a great website where I got all my sounds. And um, so I don't have to open it because I already have it in the game from my other glass. Impact glass smash window right here. Boom. Okay. And it, play stop doesn't work. Uh, it's going to be loop end or play end. Um, I think it's loop end. Anyway, and we will go uh, with 3D sound. 3D sound is awesome. And I'll show you that. You can break it up close, and it's a lot louder than if you're further away. Um, I think that'll do it for that. And we'll go ahead and hit play. And no sound. Let's see. Oh, you got to hook, it to, got to hook them up. Okay, and you see how... I'm going to go ahead and hit play again, and you see now if I get closer to it. Okay, and it's not as loud as, um, I think I maybe I had turned the volume up on my other ones, but you get the idea. Okay, so there is one other thing, and let me hit play and show you that. Now here's, here's a little problem. Everything looks good, right? Oh, it's going to break and break and break every time. It thinks the object is still there. Okay, so what we have to do about that is we'll add a game property, and I'm going to call this one broken. And it's going to be a Boolean, which is just a, a, a true or false. And we're going to start out with false because when it starts out, the, the glass is not broken. So false. And, um, and so when it is broken, we're going to change it to true. So we're going to um, add a sensor, and it's going to be a property sensor. And so the property equal to false. 
on broke. So this means, and I'll put this on this, this sand gate here. So now when the collision of a bullet and it's not broken, it takes both of those to trigger this. So then do the action and the sound. And then we'll add another one over here, another property that says assign broken to true. So now it's only going to do it once. And by doing that, and connect it this time, okay. Now, when we hit play, it breaks and it doesn't break again because now it, it knows that it's been broken and it is done. Okay. So the uh, the other thing that I wanted to talk about was oh, okay. I think I forgot something, but I'm not sure. Check out my car. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope that helped.